Hey guys, Cody Ball 3 here and welcome to episode 15 of Rags to Russian Riches and we have a long episode today but it is jam-packed with trading also with a few games thrown into the mix but let's get straight into it and check out our watch list and see the players that we bought and while the players price are running through I want to talk a little bit about the question that I asked in the last episode which was uh, whether you'd like to see me play with Hazard on the left hand side of midfield and move uh, Team of the Year Mata over to the right or keep with Kalu or what option would you like to see and the overwhelming verdict was to put Hazard on the left Mata on the right so they can cut in and use their preferred foot to finesse shot and score some uh, goals hopefully for me so that's what I am going to do but I'm going to wait another week or so to buy Hazard uh, mainly due to the fact that his price is still decreasing by the day and there's no point in picking him up now and then in a week's time I find out he's 10-15k cheaper so I'm going to wait till I think his price is as low as it's going to go obviously it's going to continuously drop until FIFA 13 comes out that's just the way the market is going so yeah I'm going to wait till I think he's at a decent price and an affordable one but uh, yeah I'll be picking up the other transferred players as well like Oscar uh, he looks pretty beast he's also got four star skills I think but don't hold me to that also Marin I want to try out as well and a couple other uh, transfer players so I will be picking them up in the next week or so and they'll be in uh, the next couple episodes I suppose but this was the first trading session I spent quite a bit but I did pick up some nice bargains like that inform Chiellini there I actually had to double check picked him on 59th minute and it was around 4 o'clock in the morning this was a night trading session and I couldn't believe my luck picking him up I'll make about 15k off him but I stuck all them players up uh, in the trade pile and I ended up giving the Clubber Country Cup another crack as you all know from the last episode I was successful and I won my first bit of silverware for the team and it was this cup, so I thought, hey, I'll give it another go and uh, hopefully win it. And you'll see there that uh, the prize has obviously gone down a bit because I have won it once. And it is only now 3,000 coins. And also, I think you get an, a pack in there as well. But you'll see here that Neymar does open the score. And, and oh, I just hate playing against Neymar. He's so overpowered. It's ridiculous. But uh, his keeper makes a mistake here. And who's there to pounce on it? But Drogba, the goal poacher that he is. But anyways, guys, while uh, the goals are running through on this game, and I don't think there's actually many more. Uh, but yeah, I want to talk a bit about uh, the fact I'm going to be bringing out some uh, new videos. And they're not going to be any series. They're just going to be kind of once-off videos. Uh, just uh, just some really fun videos. I've got some uh, ideas just, you know, uh, going around in my head. And I kind of want to make them into a video. And I think they will be uh, really interesting. And some of them will be funny. So I don't know how they're going to go down. But, uh, yeah, they should be uh, decent enough. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. Just to mix things up. Because some people are finding uh, FIFA videos in general quite stale. So I kind of want to... Uh, you know, make it a bit more exciting and interesting for you guys to watch. But you see there, I actually thought that, uh, I don't know what happened there. I thought he was going to quit or something. But uh, you'll see there that my record was unaffected. I didn't get a win, didn't get a loss. So that was just EA trolling again with their really, really bad servers. And I was just the victim of it there. And I didn't get the win or loss, which was actually good. Because usually you'll get uh, a loss in that situation. But uh, I didn't get through to the second round. It just set me right back in the first round. And I come up against this guy. He actually had the Chelsea kit and also the Chelsea badge. So I was hoping, hey, will he have a Chelsea team as well? That would be amazing to come up against someone else with all the same stuff as me. But uh, yeah, this guy, even though he was a Chelsea fan, I had absolutely no mercy on him. And I pounded so many goals by him. It was ridiculous. I actually had to cut out some of the goals because we'd literally be here all day if I was going to show you uh, every single goal in the game. There was 16 in total. So yeah, I'm just kind of showing you the highlights of them all. But uh, it was ridiculous, this game. I just This guy's defense was just getting split open just I don't know where his backs were it was ridiculous and in these kind of games yeah you know no one in FIFA really you know stops scoring against these people it's not something you you think to do in FIFA like oh hey I'll ease up on him everyone's just like no mercy let's just absolutely pound a load of goals by him but at 9-1 he actually did grab a couple of goals back you'll see he scored at uh, basically two headers uh quite sweaty the first one the second one was a good run by Krasic and I said I'd get a couple more goals. And he probably thought the comeback was on there when he got them two goals. But you see here, Jogba with a really nice free kick. He even put a man on the line. And I just love when you score and someone is the man on the line. It's a great feeling. And you see there, I topped the scoring off in the 90th minute. He, put, <laughs> he tried to block that shot on the line. But that's how the game ended, 13-3. And we cruised by the first round. And hopefully... EA will send me in the second round, and they did, as you can see there. So, uh, second time lucky I did get through. But, uh, yeah, 
we moved on in and played the second round and we came up against this guy with a full Brazilian team and that's all I seem to come up against in this tournament is Brazilian teams people need to get original and uh, try some new teams out even though I suppose a Chelsea team a Chelsea team is original I've never seen many of them uh, on the go but yeah this game uh, oh look at that mistake by Terry I can't believe I done that that was just ah uh, horrible looking back on it but he does uh just pound on my mistake there and it's Nilmar and Nilmar is just one of my most hated players to play against he always seems to score against me so overpowered in this game and you'll see there I actually did get an equaliser with uh, Mata some nice bit of skill there and the cheeky roulette and he did actually break my heart in the 83rd minute with Roberto Carlos uh, really bad defending but that's how the game ended and that's sometimes how it goes I lost 2-1 and I was eliminated from the tournament and usually when I, I lose uh, I, I take it pretty well but I don't really like playing after I lose because I seem to lose if I lose once I'll lose a couple of times in a row so I said hey I'll do what I do best and go back and do some trading and I sold all them players and you'll see the prices that I sold them for and I did actually finish off the last episode on 444,000 coins so I'm up to 504,000 after that first little session there so that means that I made a profit of 60,000 after tax which wasn't all that bad from one session it was pretty good the large majority of it was obviously Chiellini I ended up selling for 92k picked him up for just over 78 so that was a big profit for me but I actually cracked on in and I did even more trading because I wasn't happy with that I wanted to build up a, a, a good trade profit from this episode and that's actually exactly what I did I done four sessions in total a mixture of day and night the first one was a night session I think this was night as well and then there was a day and a night as well I know it's getting kind of confusing but you get what I'm talking about anyways while the prices of the players run through you can see how much I sold them for actually Walcott uh, was one that you won't see in the next trade pile just due to the fact uh, that I actually clicked on his name on the web app and it was just the most rookie move ever uh, you guys know that when you click on a player on the web app when he's in your trade pile he disappears when you go back on the console and he was the last player to sell I only sold him for 113k I made like 3k profit so it wasn't anything massive but uh, yeah that was just uh, giving you a heads up on that. But anyways, I want to talk a bit about the decline in the market. A lot of you guys have been asking me my opinion on what's happening with the market. Why am I coming to a uh, standstill really with trading? Why am I picking up players? Why can't I make a profit? Everything like that people are asking. And guys, it's just because FIFA 12 Ultimate Team is winding down. And the problem you have is the fact that... Uh, People are still trading. You'll always have people trading, uh, especially because there's so many hardcore fanatics on the game that just solely are out to trade. And they'll trade right up until the day the FIFA 13 Ultimate Team comes out. So that's the big problem there. And the problem is there's not enough people to buy these players. So you have players' prices slowly decreasing and actually it's kind of getting more uh, rapid actually and they're just decreasing in price but people are still trading so what you're having is that the margin of profit is just becoming smaller and smaller and smaller so that's really the problem with trading at the moment is the fact there's too much traders not enough people to buy the cards and that's why a lot of you guys are struggling to trade at the moment i am actually as well i'm not uh, doing as prolific as i was in the early stages of fifa uh, it is uh, slightly harder now, but it's not impossible. As you can see, I actually made uh, over 200k profit in this episode, and that was over three days. And to be honest, lads, I'm not on PS3 all that much. I maybe go on one or two days a week, and that's about the max. People think that I'm spending a load of time trading on this, but I'm literally doing this just a couple hours here, a couple hours there, and it's not that much. And people are like, oh, people can trade way faster than you. I've seen some guy get to a million in 10 days. Well, lads, it's, it, it is, it's, it's doable to get to a million in how many ever days you want to call it. But yeah, that's, uh, this is just uh, PS3 trading. It is obviously, uh, well, people think it's more difficult, but I think it's about the same as Xbox, but I won't. I'm actually going off on such a tangent, but this was actually the last uh, group of players. So I don't know what I was talking about there. Just forget about the last 30 seconds of what I was talking about there. Uh, anyways, yeah, you'll see that I'm up to 675,000 coins. That was all the trading done. So as I had finished last episode on 444,000 coins, I made a profit of in and around 230k. Because I obviously have to factor in the fact that I match coins in there as well. So about a 230k profit between the four sessions. So I was really, really happy with that. And it was a 
good few days trading and that just shows you that uh, you can still trade and just a quick note about the technique that I uh, have been talking about in the last couple of episodes it is a variation on someone else's technique so I don't know whether I will post it I might if there is enough support on this video about me uh, posting it up I will but other than that I think I might just keep it to myself and keep making profit off it but you see that I did reward myself and made the biggest signing of the team and it was in fact uh, man of the match Lampard and you see there I got into a bid war with 15 seconds left and there's literally none of these on the market any that are up are about 700k by now so I just had to go for this one because there's so few man of the match Chelsea players on the market like Cole Czech it's just, it, there's such a shortage, especially Cole, especially Drogba, and especially Lampard. So whenever one comes up on the market, I'm going to snap it up as quickly as it gets up there. And hey, I may have spent the majority of my coins on it, but I, I'm a trader. I can get right back up to that point again and buy more Man of the Matches and hopefully pimp out the team even more. But that's how the team's looking. It's looking really, really good. I'm really happy with the progress we made. And you'll see Lampard's stats. Some of them are ridiculous ridiculous he's got like in the 90s and shooting and passing which is really good for a midfielder so yeah that is pretty much it for the episode i do hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to hit that like button if you want to catch more episodes uh leave a subscribe if you want leave a subscribe go subscribe so yeah that's pretty much it for me i will see you for the next episode guys